how to create a star brush in Photoshop 221. Now I'm using 221, but you could also do exactly the same, 220, 219, etc. So I've got some stars there. I'm just going to undo that now. I find the easiest option is to go to the polygon tool. You can, of course, create stars in other ways than that. So I'm just going to go to the polygon tool. And it might be in a different position, depending on your uh, Photoshop. You can edit the toolbar, so it might be in this list here or somewhere else in there. But the polygon tool, go for shape, go for fill. I'm going with black. You don't have to. You could go for red, green, whatever. It's stored as a grayscale. Stroke, you can set, of course, as well, but I'm going to go for zero. And now I'm just going to go over here to settings. That's in the middle. You can see this little gear here. And I'm going to go for 50%. You can go for 20% or 10% to make a very sharp star, but 50%. So if I say it to 20%, and I've got eight here, this is the number of points. So you can see then you get the star like that, which is okay, perfectly reasonable star. But I'm going to set it to 50%. Now this might be different earlier versions. They've changed a few things, so it's uh, maybe slightly different than your version. But there's a star there. Hold down the shift, and I say it's eight points. You can also round it as well if you want to round the star. It doesn't particularly look like a star now, but you've got a star there. So once you've done that, what you can do, you can go to the there, rectangular marquee tool and select the area you want to. Now it's going to be about 1,000 by 1,000. But you can make it like 5,000 by 5,000. Up to you. Just make that size. And then once you've done that, edit and define brush preset. So you can see there, and you can give it a name. Star brush two. Click OK. And you can see then you've got the brush saved there. So if I go over to the, here to the brush tool, there's the brush tool. You've got your brush. Now, of course, it's on a layer, so I'm just going to remove this now. I don't want that. Now, what I can do, I can just add it. And you see the current color is red, just applied using the color. And also, the obviously, the current blending mode as well. You can change the color, of course, go for purple maybe. You can also go over here to the brush settings and you can find that in window. So window and brush settings. So all the brush settings are here. It's a great little panel and you can modify shape dynamics. Maybe add some just a brush tip. You can change the spacing, roundness and all those sorts of things. You can squeeze it so you can create a star that will flip it over. Up to you. And then you've got your design there. You can see it just spaced out or maybe color dynamics. You can go down there and you can change apply per tip, or maybe apply it just overall, or and change the foreground background jitter. You've got the colors there that will take that hue jitter, and you can see as you apply it, it will just vary the color across the image. Now you can also go over to the right side menu here, and there's an option here new brush preset, and you can say that so it's this star star brush two. 837, you can just save it, you can save the other settings, capture the brush, I don't want that. What I want, I'm just gonna go with the standard tool, the brush, it, the size that I create it with, and also include tool settings, and also I'm not gonna include the color. I don't want to include any color setting there. Now, what I'm gonna do, just apply it, and you've stored it away in your brushes. So you've got there, star brush down here, and then you've got your brushes there. You've got your star brush. Now, of course, there's thousands of other possible star brushes you could create. I'm just going to quickly demonstrate another couple. So again, go to Polygon Tool, and you can add your design here. Hold down the Shift again, and you've got your design there. Now I'm going to change the color to black. And you also, what you can do, you can go here and change this stroke. Maybe go over here actually and change. You've got grayscale, so you could maybe make it gray like that. And also, of course, what you can do, you can create a star maybe more intense than that. So if you want, you can always go there to Polygon Tool and say instead of eight, you make it 20. And maybe change, go to that little gear thing there and just go to 20%. So you've got your star and you can add that. Again, go over here to the fill and maybe change it to gray. Maybe add a stroke. Maybe not that intense, but add a little bit of a stroke. 
And of course, what you can do, you can also add additional stars. So you could also just hold down the alter option key and duplicate the design. That's just on the keyboard, the alter option key, and just simply create that design, add it on top. You can align it, maybe have it slightly shifted up a little way away, resize. You can also rotate it a bit, so you can create a far more intense star design like that. Obviously, you don't want it to go over the edge. So just avoid going over the edge because you'll end up with it just being cut off. And you can see you've got the design there. Press J. You can also, and obviously you can then define that as well. You can go to a layer menu, layer style, and maybe go for a drop shadow. So you can add a drop shadow there. Press OK, and you've got your design. And what you can then do is you can go to edit and define a brush preset. And again, that can be saved. So I'll remove that. And now what you can do, just go for the brush tool. And you can use obviously this brush with other things as well, like art history, clone, pattern stamps, etc. Or maybe smudge tool or blur. So I'm just gonna go for the brush tool, which again, there it is, the brush tool there. And you can see your brush is slightly different now. I'm going to change colour and I'm going to reduce the size a bit. So, and of course, you've also got the blending modes as well. And again, you can go over here to the brush settings. So, if you want maybe the brush tip, you go spacing, and you can see a slightly different brush design like that. So, literally thousands of different star designs, star brushes can be created. Again, modify that change that and it's always grayscale that's always the thing it's no point having you can have a obviously a gradient or something maybe fill just go up to the gradient there's always a gradient there so you've got that one there and you can then add your star now I personally I prefer slightly that's why I went for 50 but you can go for 70 percent that's 70 percent there and also maybe 10 and you could add your star design now. Now it's got a gradient instead of full. And also you can go to layer, layer star and bevel and boss. So maybe add a bit of bevel and boss there, size, so you can actually see it. So you can modify the star in numerous ways. Maybe change the contour, create different designs, drop shadow again or not. And you've got your design there. Maybe go for that one and so on and so on and of course what you can do you can always define that go to edit and define brush preset and you've got your new star brush which you can then apply again go into the brush tool there and you can see the star there obviously it's uh, resize that so you can actually see it you can see the gradient there and you can also resize it of course I love the way it always jumps. It always slightly bugs me occasionally, like it's a 2,000 or a 1,000, and suddenly jumps down to 200. I always think it's, uh, always, but there's the uh, star design there. And of course, you don't have to create a star design only. You can always go for polygon tool, and maybe go back to solid color, maybe a gray, and just add that design there. And also go for maybe lips. So you can add an ellipse there. Maybe instead of that, you can go for uh, white or something else. So you can have a bit of a gap in between. And this is the thing with shapes. I think the shapes are great because not only that, you can also, with that selected, you can maybe go over to the properties. So window and properties. This is always useful. Is you can modify various settings here. So you can just quickly say, oh, I don't want that, but I'll have dashes around that. And you can see you can create all kinds of unique stars, which then again just simply go over to edit and define brush preset, and that can be saved in as a star as well. Star brush, which can be used. So again, remove that and again go over to the brush tool. Let's just resize that a bit. And maybe change the colour, maybe go for black, and then you can see. As you apply your star brush 
And you can create all kinds of other style brushes, of course. You don't have to create nice uniform style brushes. Another option, of course, is to use various tools, such as, see, the, that one. Or I'm just going to look for the curvature tool, wherever it's gone there in my system. Anyway, I'm just going to go for that pen tool there. Hmm, curvature tool seems to have vanished somewhere. Oh, it's down there. Wonder where it was. Again, this may be in a completely different position. I'm always moving around depending on what I'm doing with uh, my tutorials, but suddenly thought about the curvature tool. So you can create a curved star. So you can create some very abstract star. It doesn't have to be an actual sharp edge star. Like that. So it's a very unusual star. Or maybe, probably best to be honest, a pen star is probably going to be easier, but that more. So you can create a bit more unusual stars in your standard star. And again, that can be defined as a star brush. Just like that. And again, define it as a brush. And of course, what you can do, you can always flatten the image. So you've got the flatten the image. And then you can, of course, go to maybe smudge. You can just add some smudge effects. You've got your star design still there. I mean, obviously, it's just a little bit smudged. Maybe add some blur. And then once you've done that, and also you've got all the various effects. You can just go over here and say maybe apply blur, motion blur, etc. Or maybe have 3D effects. There's obviously a great menu here, 3D. If you've got a layer, you can apply 3D effects to it to create a 3D style, which can be defined as a brush as well. So you've got that design and then edit again. Simply go down to brush preset, sample brush, and you've got that brush, which you again can now apply. And I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to change, apply it to this purple and just change the size a bit. Maybe not that small, so you can actually see it and just apply. Oh, that's the smudge one. That's not much use. Now, it would be if I had applied it the actual brush tool, there's the brush tool. And vary the size. And you can see your design there, that star design there. So literally thousands of different stars can be created. And of course you could create a star brush that's made up of lots of different stars. So you don't have to just apply like that. Now of course I'm just gonna have to window and history. Let's just get rid of the whole thing there. And what you can do, just go to the polygon tool and just go to there. And you can just add, I'm just going to add black. You can always create stars like this. It doesn't have to be a single shape. You can make stars and of course you can go and vary. I'm just going to go and set the vary to 20%. So just add some additional ones as well. Once you've done that, you can then define that as a brush stroke as well. So you can vary the size, layer flatten if you want, and then edit and define a brush preset. And you've got your star brush there. And again, go to the brush tool and you can see you've got your very quick and easy applied brushes that way, star brush design there. Well, I hope you found this of interest. I'm always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator, Affinity Photo, Designer, Publisher, Critter, and many, many others, Clip Studio Paint. If you've got any questions, please let me know what have I done wrong, what I've done right. Always great to have some comments about it so I can hopefully improve things for another time. Also a dislike or like. Thank you much.